my name is Nicole from Bouquets by Nicole. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a fully covered colored brooch bouquet. I'll be using some red, dark red brooches as well as some gold brooches for this project. This is going to be gorgeous guys. Just wait and see. Okay, you'll also need your styrofoam, Okay, <laughs> your wooden holder and you'll need your fat ribbon, your two inch width ribbon for your leaves to cover the base of the bouquet. You'll need your skinny ribbon, which will be used to cover the holder. A pair of scissors, just to cut the ribbon. Glue sticks, your trusty glue gun, and your roses, your beautiful satin roses. These are item number 002 on the website. These are the two inch satin rolled roses that we have for sale at Bouquets by Nicole. You can purchase in small quantities or even um, larger quantities in the wholesale section. Okay, so let's get started, okay? The first thing you need to do is to put a hole in the bottom of your styrofoam. This styrofoam ball I'm using right now is the five and a half inch. I'm just using this for demonstration. The actual bouquet I'm making, I, use, I will be using an eight inch. But I'm just using this. I already started the bouquet. It's halfway done. But I wanted to um, record this because, I mean, it's just so beautiful. I wanted to share it with you guys. So for this um, demonstration, I'm using the five and a half inch ball, which will give you like a seven to eight inch bouquet, which is usually used by the bridesmaids. The brides usually carry the 10 inch bouquet and we have the larger um, styrofoam ball, which will give you like a nine to 10 inch bouquet on the website as well. So you just want to put, make a hole, put some glue in there, put your stick in there, and ta-da, you have the foundation of your bouquet. So after that's done, I have one already made up. You want to take your skinny ribbon, and I know if you viewed my other videos, you've seen this already, but I've had a few requests on, you know, people want to see me do it from the start to finish. So sorry guys if you're um, already familiar with, you know, what I'm going to do next because you've seen the other videos. Just fast forward it a little bit. But, you know, some people, they said um, they don't like it when I fast forward the videos. They want to see everything. So, here goes. Alright, so you just want to take your glue and glue along the, the baseline, <coughs> excuse me, of the styrofoam ball and you just use your skinny ribbon you can use the fat ribbon as well but I like using the skinny ribbon some people actually take the ribbon and cover the entire ball so that if you have gaps between your roses um, you know it won't be noticeable because the ribbon will cover but you don't have to do that I don't that takes a lot of time I don't have time for that so I just put glue here and then just bend it down. Be careful, sometimes the glue is hot. I really burned my leg last week, guys. Oh my God, it's a nasty burn. So be careful with this hot glue. I know some people um, ask me, can they use the E6000, oh, that glue is too smelly for the bouquets and it takes too long to dry so I would not advise you um, to use that. The hot glue really is the best adhesive to use for the satin roses and your brooches. Okay, so next thing you want to do is start gluing your roses to your um, styrofoam ball. The reason why we put this ribbon here is because you're going to have gaps in between your roses so with the ribbon, the ribbon will disguise the styrofoam ball if you have gaps. So that's why I put ribbon around the baseline. So you just want to take your, um, your roses, put some glue, and then just line it along the baseline. Hold it down a little bit, let it dry. 
what I usually do, I've just started doing this, is I'll put some glue around like that. I'm making a mess. And then I'll just go on with my roses to speed things up. I know, I'm always rushing these days. I need to calm myself down. Sometimes I stop and be like, Nick, why are you rushing? And I'll, and I'll answer myself and I'll say, I don't know. So, I'm going to slow down. All right. So, you just want to go around. I'm going to continue doing this. I like this technique. This this is okay, doing it this way. So just, why is this glue everywhere? You know why? Because the glue gun was on low temperature, and then I just switched it to high temperature, so that's why. But once it gets hot, it'll stop um, with all of that. So you just want to go around on your styrofoam ball. Like that. Now you see how there's a gap in there? So that's why I put the ribbon there. And that's fine. But oh, remember this bouquet is going to be fully covered, so we don't have to worry about gaps too much. Alright, so just keep going around. See, it's getting hot now, so it's not, it doesn't have that many. Okay, these are roses I used before. That's why they have. <laughs> You're going to see some glue on them. But this is just to show you guys this beautiful technique. Well, not technique. Um, it's my technique, so I shouldn't call it beautiful. But, you know, just to show you how to do this. And this is not sounding right, so I'm going to do a voiceover. But I'm going to continue with... Okay. Is someone even complaining that when I'm doing the putting the roses on because I fast forward the video just so that you won't have to watch me put each and every rose on the styrofoam ball? They're like, Nicole, stop fast forwarding the videos. I'm like, really, dude? Are you serious? You want to see me put every each rose on here? Okay, you got it. No problemo. You want to see it? Now, the reason why this is so messy, guys, this is going to be covered with brooches, so bear with me, okay? You guys know I don't usually do sloppy work, but just for the sake of time, and this bouquet is going to be covered with brooches, so I don't have to worry about being neat with this okay let's hold them down a little bit let it dry and then all right so put your roses all over the styrofoam ball right so that's done and then once it's covered <laughs> no I can't do that that's <laughs> why all right because I got to show you how to do the leaves <laughs> I jumped ahead of myself. Alrighty then. Alright, so let me just continue putting these. Let me show you how to make the leaves. What you want to do is take your fat ribbon, just cut it to maybe about, I don't know, that's about what, five inches maybe. Because this is the smaller um, ball, you don't need to cut it that big. So you just want to cut your fat ribbon and then to make your leaf, you just take a little glue 
bend it over like that. That gives you a leaf, right? And then what I usually do is I just cut the excess ribbon off. So let's do a couple of these. I haven't made a video in a while. I'm a little rusty doing this in front of the camera. But guys, you, you get the gist of what I'm doing, right? So I'm just making my leaves. And then the move on. I usually just put them together like this. Cut them. Okay. So then you just go to the bottom of your styrofoam. Put a little glue. Take your leaf. Now the leaves are going to cover all of this ugliness under here. So. Don't worry about that. What's up with these glue sticks? I mean, it's just leaving. Oh, this must be. I probably bought the wrong glue sticks. Because it's so messy. It's it might be the low temperature one. So you just want to take your um your leaves and then just you know you can make a design if you want with it like twirling it around, but I'm just going to keep it simple. Okay, so you just apply your leaves to cover you know covering the base. Oh, this glue. Oh, my goodness. Goodness, have mercy. Okay, now I'm not usually this awkward doing it. It's because I'm trying to, you know, face the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. That's why it's a little bit awkward for me. I should have put the camera over my shoulder. That way I could just function, you know, normally. Oh. Okay, and the reason why I cut the V at the bottom of the leaves is it removes um, some of the bulk of the ribbon. Look how pretty that looks. Look, isn't that nice? Okay, some more. I'm going to need about five more, looks like.
just love how the gold and the red gems go off each other. Absolutely gorgeous. And look what I did with the handle. Isn't that cute? It looks like luxury, doesn't it? guys thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already all right guys until we meet again you be blessed bye bye